To understand the effect of VOS, we're going to consider both the open loop amplifier case and the closed loop amplifier case and see how the offset voltage impacts both those situations. But first in this video, we're going to look at the open loop amplifier uh, situation. In an open loop amplifier, which means that there's no feedback, the effect, the offset will uh, very likely saturate the amplifier to either plus or minus VCC, even when there is no input signal applied. To see this, consider the graph of uh, V out versus V out versus the uh, input differential voltage for both the ideal case and the case with an offset voltage in the operational amplifier. So, and uh, the open loop amplifier gain for our case, for our uh, for our example here will be ten to the fourth. Now, in the ideal case, then V out, so ideal V out will equal ten to the fourth times V I sub D. So, for V I sub D equaling zero volts, we'll have an output voltage of zero volts in the ideal case. And because it has such a large open loop gain, we know that very small deviations away from zero cause the amplifier to saturate. That's in the ideal case. But when we model the amplifier with the offset voltage, we get something quite different. In our model here, we will apply the differential voltage VID, which of course is VID is equal to V2 minus V1. But the amplifier itself will be acting on what we're going to call V internal. And it's going to be referenced like this, V internal. And so the output of the actual amplifier will be equal to the open loop gain 10 to the fourth times the internal voltage here. And of course, that internal voltage is going to be affected by this output or this uh, offset voltage. And we're going to look at it for a, a number of different values of VID. So KVL then will yield that the internal voltage V int is equal to V ID plus 5 millivolts. Because of this offset voltage, V ID needs to be minus 5 volts to give us an internal voltage of 0 volts that would then yield an output voltage of zero volts. At VID equaling negative six millivolts, the internal voltage would be negative six plus five would be a negative one millivolt times the ten to the fourth gives us the output voltage of negative ten volts. So with an input voltage here, <laughs> with this input voltage negative six millivolts, we're going to be saturating the amplifier at its negative rail voltage. When we increase the voltage here from a negative 5 to a negative 4 volts, we end up with the internal voltage being, I mean I said volts, that's millivolts, we end up with the internal voltage being 1 millivolt and the output voltage will then be 10, uh, 10 volts and then saturating from there on. So this offset voltage literally is an offset voltage. It's taken the ideal amplifier transfer characteristic and offset it 5 millivolts due to or because this actually adds 5 volts to the externally applied differential voltage.